Hello, welcome to lesson two, exercise two. Uh, here in the main method, we want to ask the user to separately input three grades from zero to 100. So these are typical grades on an exam. Um, since these grades, uh, since these are grades, they should be stored as double values because they have a decimal point. Create a method that will take as a parameter these three grades and average them. So we'll add them up, divide by three, since they're three grades. The method then returns the answer to the main method and the answer is displayed to the user. So basically we're creating a program to average grades, but we're compartmentalizing the function of actually doing the averaging off into its own method to keep the code cleaner and more organized. So here we're importing the scanner class. Uh, here we are creating a scanner object like we always do. We're calling it input. Uh, and now we're creating some variables. We're calling them doubles because grades have decimal points. Grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, I just assigned a number 1.0 to them um, just to initialize them. And then I have the final answer which will be called the average. I'm also just initializing it. So basically I'm just declaring a bunch of variables here and putting dummy numbers in there. Uh, there. Then what we want to do is output to the screen, enter grade 1, and then this line here is going to read that, that decimal that you type in from the keyboard and store it into grade 1. So this is the scanner uh, object we've created. Um, the method is next double, so it's reading the next double value, which is a decimal value, from the keyboard. This entire thing is reading the keyboard decimal value and storing it into grade number one. We do the same thing again, enter grade number two, and we'll store the next double from the keyboard into grade number two. And then we'll do the third and final time for the third grade, and then we'll store from the keyboard the next double value waiting to be read, and we'll store that into grade number three. All right, so we've stored all three grades from the, from the keyboard into the variables. And now what we have to do is actually do the averaging. So what we do is we call a method that we're calling average, AVG, average grades. That's the name of my method. It's descriptive. It's just basically saying we're going to average some grades. And we will pass to it the three grades that we've just stored, which are double values. We'll passing to it the numbers that are stored in grade one, grade two, and grade three. So this particular method takes three parameters here. Uh, double values and presumably what we want to do is average these guys and this method will return an answer right which will be stored in our final answer here so you can think of this over here as just basically passing it the three grades getting a result we're going to store that over here and then we just print out the answer uh, average of these grades is average and that's the end of the main method so let's look at what this method that we created looks like it's very simple Public static, again, don't worry about those. We'll talk about those a little bit later. But notice that uh, sometimes we use void if we're not returning an actual value. Uh, the previous example, we used integer because it was returning an integer. Here, we're calculating something with a decimal, so we're returning a double. The name of the method is here, matches exactly what we have up here, and it takes as arguments three double values. Here we're passing grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3. Those are the numbers we've read in from the keyboard, but when we define our function, we have to tell the function or tell Java what do we expect to get and pass into this function. We expect to receive three values. Each of them are going to be a double. Now I've renamed them A, B, and C just to kind of lessen confusion. If you, you, know, you want to generally use different variable names than what you have in other functions to keep things straight, but essentially what's happening is you're passing the the value into here and so now grade one will be stored into the variable called a inside of this method grade two will be stored here and grade three will be stored here so now we have the three grades inside of our method um, stored as usual and then we simply add up the three grades and divide by three that's calculating the average and we have defined another variable again limited in scope to this to this method here we call it AVG um, so we created a double variable called AVG we put the average there and then we return that number so basically all we've done is we take the three grades we average the value we return the number we're using slightly different variable names here to what we've used before but that's just to kind of keep things clean and keep from having the same variable running around everywhere because you can get confused if you do that that's it that's the that's the uh, entire code so when we get to this method, we call this method, we pass all three values into here, which gets stored here. The answer gets calculated and put into this temporary variable, which is then returned. So the purpose of this method is to return a number, which is a double. That's why it says double here. This double is the result of this calculation is put into this variable, and then we 
print out the result. So let's go and see how it works. We'll run the program, enter grade one, we'll do 88.6, enter grade two, we'll do 79.8, enter grade three, we've done 60.4. And it says the average of these three grades is 76.26. So each of these three grades were passed down to the method. The answer was calculated. The result was passed back to where we came from. And the, and the answer was printed. Now I've checked all of this um, myself to make sure that the method works right manually with a calculator. It seems to work just fine. You can kind of see that 76.2 is, is kind of in the middle of these three values. And you can actually do another test case to check it a little bit further if you want to do something really easy. If you have a grade of 40, averaged with another grade of 40, averaged with a third grade of 40, the answer that you should get is 40. If you have three of the same number, you should get an average number that matches. So it's nice to put test cases in that you, that you can uh, quickly verify that your code is working right. So again, your code might look different, that's fine. But the gist of this example was to get you to read numbers from the keyboard, pass the three values as doubles down to your method, calculate the answer, return a double back, um, just getting practice with compartmentalizing your code inside of these, these methods here.